Hey, what's up you guys? It's Jose Zaniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today's video, I'm gonna be giving you five killer dating tips to ensure you get that second date and just reduce those chances of rejection. Now, the cool thing I did in today's video is that I went on a social dating site called Dine and asked various women users what they think is the top dating tips for men. What they, what we as guys have to do on the first date. So not only are you getting tips from me, they're gonna be backed up by real women. Who'd have thought? Let's get into it. So my first tip to you guys is probably one of my most important tips and something you always need to remember. Figure out what it is that you want. This is important because it all starts with you. I think too many times guys, or just anybody really in particular, Focus in too much in what it is that they want. What are they looking for? And then you try to mold yourself to fit those expectations. But what happens is that you might come across as ingenuine or sort of fake trying to fit her mold. So instead, figure out what it is that you want. How is it that you want to be treated? What is it that you want to do? And then find a partner for that. Don't just go for the first person that says yes. Number two, pick the right location. So going on a first date is crucial. This is going to be in her mind for the rest of her life. If she ends up being the one. So this first date is gonna be very, very important. And where you go, it's gonna pretty much dictate the course of the night. I don't recommend going to the movies because you really won't get to know her. I think the best place to go is to dinner, somewhere where you can speak, not even a bar. I think bar, again, too loud. You really can't communicate and get to know that person. And I think an app that does a great job about this is an app called Dine. So what Dine is, is kind of like a dating app but I want to say it's even better it's not like your tinder where you're just looking for one night stands dine focuses in on making a match with you and getting you to that first date at the perfect location so why do I say this well dine is pretty easy to start so all you do is download the app it's completely free and works in the United States or Canada and then you just fill out your profile you connect it with Facebook so it all auto populates you get done in 30 seconds then dine asks you to pick three of your favorite restaurants that are in your area. It's connected to Yelp, so these restaurants auto-populate. You pick your three favorite restaurants, and that's basically it. So what Dine does is it recommends to you five potential people that you may like in your area every single day. So you swipe through those five, and if you happen to like one of them and want to get to meet them, on the bottom of her picture, you're gonna see three of her favorite restaurants. All you have to do is pick one of those restaurants, drag it to her picture, and that's it. You basically invited her on your first date to dinner. And the best part is, it's at her favorite restaurant. So not only is she gonna love it, she's gonna feel comfortable. And this is gonna be perfect time for you guys to start dialoguing, getting to know each other, and build that relationship. See if she is the one. So if you guys like Dine and wanna check it out, go ahead and check out the link below. I'm telling you guys, you're not gonna be disappointed. And like I said, it's free. So if you're in the market and trying to expand your horizons, meet new people outside your social circle, Definitely check out Dine, guys. I'm gonna have it linked below. You guys can check it out. Now, tip number three kind of goes along with tip number two, and it's that first impressions matter. Now that you have the date, that first time you guys are gonna actually get to sit down and meet each other, this is gonna be like ingrained in her brain for the rest of her life. And if you can do it right, it's gonna ensure you that second date. So obviously style is very important. This is your brand image. You need to come in well. So I don't recommend you go in a full suit where you're gonna make her feel underdressed and maybe even uncomfortable. Instead, I recommend you guys keep it safe and go with something simple but refined. So first go with some dark jeans that are well fitted, not your mom jeans, and they could either be black or navy. That's completely up to you. Then picks up, pick up some leather shoes. Avoid sneakers for this first date. You wanna look your best. So you can go with loafers if you want it casual or wingtips, again, completely up to you. And finally, go with a button down. I recommend white because it always works. A white Oxford is perfect because you can play it by ear. If you know you're gonna meet up in a nice restaurant, tuck in your shirt. You're gonna look super classy and perfect for the occasion. If you know you're gonna meet somewhere more casual, like a bar type of restaurant, just leave your shirt untucked and you're gonna look just as sharp and a little bit more relaxed. Number four, do not forget your manners. It's time to whip out everything your mom told you and be on your A game. Keep in mind, these women, they're gonna be on the lookout for all those little details. They're gonna be micro judging you the whole night and any little mishap could have severe consequence. So if she looks nice, tell her that. Open the door as she walks through. You can even offer to pay the bill. Some women like that. And on top of everything, just be polite to everybody around you, especially your waiter. 
If she sees you being a D-bag or a jerk, she's automatically gonna think you're probably not the right long-term partner. And finally, tip number five, this is a tip that you're gonna use the rest of your life, so might as well start practicing now, and it's just be confident. Confidence is just gonna help you throughout almost anything in your life, and here, it's very crucial. Now, it's understandable since it is your first date, both of you are gonna be extremely nervous, but if you can push through that and show a little bit of self-confidence, I'm telling you, you're gonna really increase your attraction to that individual. So what I recommend is to keep the dialogue within things that you are well versed in, stuff that you know you're not gonna run out of things to say. If you got nothing else to say, then it's time to start asking questions to see if you guys have any common ground, things that you both like, because then that's definitely gonna break the ice and increase the attraction between the two of you. All right, boys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that helped you out. If it did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. It really helps us out. And if you're in the market trying to look for a new partner, definitely check out Dynamic app guys i think you guys are gonna definitely like it i'll have the link below so you guys can check it out